What is causing this eyelid bump? What is an eyelid bump? Eyelid bumps are painful, red lumps at the edge of the eyelid, typically where the lash meets the lid. Bacteria or a blockage in the eyelid's oil glands cause most eyelid bumps. Eyelid bumps are often harmless and don't always require medical treatment. They often go away on their own or with basic home care. But if an eyelid bump becomes increasingly painful, doesn't respond to home treatments, or interferes with your vision, you may want to talk with a doctor about ways to manage your symptoms or see whether you have a more severe problem. What are the types of eyelid bumps? There are three types of common eyelid bumps. The type and underlying cause of your eyelid bump will determine the best course of treatment. Styes. A sty is the most common type of eyelid bump. Styes occur when bacteria get into the oil glands of the eyelids. A sty is a round, red bump that appears close to your eyelashes. Styes can make your eyelid feel sore. It can also cause you to be sensitive to light and make your eye watery or feel itchy. It typically takes a few days for a sty to form, and you may have more than one at a time. Chalazion a chalazion is an inflammatory lesion that occurs when the oil-producing glands or tear glands in the eyelids become blocked. A chalazion usually grows further on your eyelid than a sty. It's painless in most cases and often goes away with home or over-the-counter treatment. It can interfere with your vision depending on where it grows and how big it gets. Xanthalasma Xanthalasma are harmless yellow bumps that occur when fats build up underneath the skin. They most commonly affect people ages 35 to 55 years old trusted source. In some cases, the bumps indicate high cholesterol levels. What are the symptoms of an eyelid bump? Most eyelid bumps appear as red or skin-colored lumps, typically along the edge of the eyelid. Sometimes they can be tender. Other symptoms include red, watery eyes, a gritty, itchy sensation in the eye and sensitivity to light. Although most eyelid bumps are mild or harmless, some can indicate a more severe condition. Consider seeing a doctor if any of the following occur, you're having trouble seeing. Your eyes are extremely watery. There's copious discharge from your eye. The white part of your eye changes color. Your eyes hurt even in low lighting. Your eyelid bump bleeds, gets worse, grows very big or is very painful. Your eyelid is scaly, crusty, or red, which can indicate an infection. Your eyelid has blisters, which can indicate an infection. If a sty or chalazion doesn't go away over time with home care, a doctor can determine whether it's a more severe condition and discuss treatment options. What causes an eyelid bump? Styes occur when bacteria enter and inflame your oil glands. Your risk of having styes increases if you have blepharitis, or inflammation of the eyelash follicles. A chalazion can form when the oil glands in your eyelids are blocked. Styes that don't drain can turn into chalasia. Xanthalasma occur when you have collections of fat just below the skin's surface. They sometimes indicate an underlying condition that can cause high cholesterol, such as diabetes. They can also form without a connection to any medical conditions. What are the treatment options for an eyelid bump? A doctor can diagnose a sty or chalazion. Depending on the bump's location, the doctor may quickly flip your eyelid over to take a closer look. No other tests are necessary unless there's a concern that you may have a different medical problem. Home care. Trying to squeeze or pop a sty or chalazion can increase your risk of infection and spread bacteria to your other eye. You can treat a sty at home by holding a warm compress on it for 10 minutes up to 4 times a day. Heat and compression can help drain the sty, loosen blockages in the oil gland, and aid healing. Xanthalasma don't require home care. Medical care. A doctor may need to drain the infected fluid if you have a large sty. If you keep getting styes or have ones that won't go away, a doctor might prescribe an antibiotic cream for your eyelid. Surgery may be an option if you have a large chalazion that doesn't go away on its own. A doctor might give you antibiotic eye drops before and after surgery to treat or prevent infection. This is usually done in the doctor's office. Anti-inflammatory steroid injections can relieve swelling. 
Xanthalasma don't need treatment, but you may wish to remove it if the appearance bothers you. Options include, laser or radiofrequency ablation. A chemical peel. Cryotherapy. Surgery. Drugs that affect the entire body such as probucal, an antioxidant, and alirocumab, and anti-cholesterol therapy have shown promise, but more research is needed. What is the long-term outlook? Styes usually heal on their own after draining, which can take a few days to a week. Call a doctor if the sty doesn't go away within one to two weeks. You might also get more styes after the initial one heals. A chalazione usually disappears within a few when treated at home. Still, you may want to tell a doctor if the chalazione keeps getting bigger or isn't improving with warm compresses after a couple of weeks. Xanthalasma are harmless, but you should talk with a doctor about testing for underlying conditions. How can I prevent an eyelid bump? Practicing good hygiene can help reduce your risk of getting a sty. You can prevent the spread of bacteria with regular hand washing. Also, try not to touch your eyes until you've washed your hands with hot, soapy water. You can help prevent chalazia by rinsing your eyelids twice daily with warm water and mild soap if you have blepharitis. It would help if you also put a warm compress on your eyelid as soon as it feels irritated. Controlling your cholesterol levels by eating a balanced diet and maintaining a moderate weight might help prevent xanthalasma, which can result from high cholesterol levels. Let's explain more clearly about chalazione. A chalazione is a small, usually painless, lump or swelling that appears on your eyelid. A blocked mibumian or oil gland causes this condition, which is sometimes known as a mibumian cyst. A chalazione can develop on the upper or lower eyelid. It may disappear without treatment. Chalazia is the term for more than one chalazion. CNI doctor if you think you have a chalazion, especially if it blocks your vision or you've had chalazia in the past. Chalazion versus sty. A chalazion is sometimes confused with an internal or external sty. An internal sty is an infection of a mibumian gland. An external sty is an infection in the area of the eyelash follicle and sweat gland. Styes are usually painful, while chalazia usually aren't. Chalazia may develop after styes. Chalazione symptoms. A chalazione typically appears as a painless lump or swelling on your upper or lower eyelid. Chalazia may affect both upper and lower lids. They can occur in both eyes at the same time. Depending on the size and location of the chalazione, it may blur or block your vision. Although not as common, if an infection is present, a chalazione may be red, swollen, painful. Chalazione causes and risk factors. A chalazione is caused by a blockage in one of the tiny mibumian glands of the upper and lower eyelids. The oil these glands produce helps moisten the eyes. Inflammation or viruses affecting the mibumian glands are the underlying causes of chalazia. Chalazia are more common in people with viral conjunctivitis an infection covering the inside of the eyes and eyelids inflammatory conditions such as seborrheic dermatitis acne rosacea long-term inflammation of the eyelid recurring or unusual chalazia may be symptoms of more serious conditions but these are rare diagnosing a chalazion in most cases a doctor can diagnose this condition by taking a close look at the lump on your eyelid. The doctor will also ask about your symptoms to determine whether the lump is a chalazione, sty, or something else. Chalazione treatment. Some chalazia can go away without treatment. If your doctor does recommend treatment, options may include either home care or medical treatment. Home care. First, don't try to squeeze the chalazione. It's best if you touch it as little as possible. Instead, you can apply a warm compress to your eyelid four times per day for about 10 minutes at a time. This can reduce the swelling by softening the oils in the blocked gland. Make sure you wash your hands before you touch the area. Your doctor may tell you to gently massage the lump a few times per day or to scrub your eyelid. They may also prescribe eye drops or eyelid creams. Medical treatment. 
if the chalazione doesn't go away with home treatment, your doctor may recommend a corticosteroid injection or a surgical procedure to have it removed. Both the injection and the surgery are effective treatments. The choice of treatment depends on several factors, such as whether you're at risk of side effects from anesthesia. How to prevent a chalazione? It's not always possible to avoid getting a chalazione. This is especially true if you're prone to this type of eye problem. However, there are a few things you can do to try to prevent this condition. Always wash your hands before touching your eyes. Make sure that anything that comes in contact with your eyes, such as contact lenses and glasses, is clean. If you have a condition that increases your chance of developing chalazia, follow your doctor's instructions to help manage them. Eyelid inflammation, blepharitis. What is eyelid inflammation? Your eyelids are the folds of skin that cover your eyes and protect them from debris and injury. Your eyelids also have lashes with short, curved hair follicles on the edge of the lids. These follicles contain oil glands. These oil glands can sometimes become clogged or irritated, which can trigger certain eyelid disorders. One of these disorders is known as eyelid inflammation, or blepharitis. Causes of eyelid inflammation The exact cause of eyelid inflammation cannot always be determined, but different factors may increase your risk of blepharitis. For example, you may have a higher risk if you also have dandruff on your scalp or eyebrows. It's also possible to have an allergic reaction to makeup or other cosmetic products you apply around your eyes, triggering eyelid inflammation. These aren't the only possible causes. Other causes or risk factors for eyelid inflammation include, having eyelash mites or lice. Bacterial infection. Medication side effects. A malfunctioning oil gland. Types of eyelid inflammation. There are two types of eyelid inflammation, anterior eye inflammation occurs on the outside of your eye where your eyelashes are located. Dandruff on your eyebrows and allergic reactions in your eyes can cause anterior eyelid inflammation. Posterior eyelid inflammation occurs on the inner edge of eyelids closest to your eye. A malfunctioning oil gland behind your eyelash follicles usually causes this form of inflammation. Symptoms of eyelid inflammation Eyelid inflammation is usually noticeable because it can irritate your eyes and possibly affect your vision. Symptoms of inflammation include, itchy eyelids, red or inflamed eyelids, oily eyelids, swollen eyelids, a burning sensation in the eyes, a feeling that something is in or on your eyes, red eyes, sensitivity to light, watery eyes, a crust on your eyelashes or in the corners of your eyes. These symptoms can also indicate a serious eye infection. You should treat these symptoms as an emergency and see your doctor right away. Diagnosing eyelid inflammation. Your family doctor, an internist, or an eye doctor can diagnose eyelid inflammation. In some cases, a physical examination of your eye is enough to diagnose the condition. Your doctor can also closely examine your eyelids using a specialized magnifying tool. This eye examination checks your eyes for inflammation as well as the presence of bacteria, fungi, or viruses, which can indicate an infection. If there are symptoms of an infection, your doctor will swab your eye and take a sample of any fluid seeping from your eyes. This sample is then examined under a microscope. Treating eyelid inflammation. Washing your eyes and applying a warm compress can reduce inflammation. Depending on the severity of inflammation and whether your inflammation is caused by an infection, your doctor may recommend other treatments. Steroid treatment. If you don't have an infection, your doctor may prescribe steroids, eye drops, or ointment to reduce inflammation. Your doctor may also prescribe lubricating eye drops to stop irritation caused by dry eyes. Antibiotics A course of antibiotics may effectively treat eyelid infections. Your doctor can prescribe antibiotic medication in pill, ointment, or liquid drop form. Doctors often prescribe drops when an infection spreads beyond the eyelid. Potential Complications of Eyelid Inflammation Eyelash loss is a potential complication of eyelid inflammation. This is caused by scarring in the hair follicles, 
which can make your lashes grow incorrectly. Extensive scarring can also prevent eyelash growth. Common short term complications of eyelid inflammation include dry eyes and pink eye. Long term complications may include scarring on the eyelid, a sty, an infected lump that appears on the base of your eyelashes, chronic pink eye. The oil glands on your eyelids can also become infected and blocked. This can cause an infection under your eyelids. An untreated eye infection can cause permanent eye damage and vision loss. Scarring under the eyelids can scratch the eye's delicate surface. It can also cause ulcers on your cornea, which is the clear, protective outer layer of your eye. Preventing eyelid inflammation. Eyelid inflammation can be uncomfortable, painful, and unsightly. Unfortunately, this condition isn't always preventable but you can take measures to reduce your risk of inflammation. Make sure you wash your face regularly. This includes removing your eye and facial makeup before going to bed. Don't touch your eyes with dirty hands and don't rub itchy eyelids. Rubbing your eyes can spread an existing infection. Also, have your eyelids checked if you notice pain, redness, or swelling. Controlling dandruff also helps reduce inflammation. If you have severe dandruff, talk with your doctor. You may need a prescription shampoo.